right, coming up next, our matchup for the UFC featherweight title. So here he is, the number one featherweight contender, making his walk to the octagon for this UFC featherweight championship opportunity. It's been a long time coming. No denying he is worthy of this chance, and he believes he's the best featherweight in the world. His opportunity to prove it is now just a few short moments away. Well, how about the pop as the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC featherweight champion works his way to the octagon here tonight. Yet another title defense is what's in front of him. He is healthy, he is ready to prove that all the featherweights below him are just that, below him for a reason. He believes he is the champion for a reason. He believes he should be mentioned with the all-time greats. And that is what is at stake for him here tonight. Another title defense, another chance to prove that he is one of the greatest 145-pound fighters this octagon has ever hosted. Our tale of the tape for this featherweight championship fight. So at least on paper, even match up here, a lot of similarities across the board, evenly matched when it comes to the numbers. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC featherweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 139 pounds. Fighting out of Wilburn, Massachusetts, presenting the challenger, the professional. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 139 pounds. Fighting out of New York, presenting the reigning, defending, This is for the championship. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. All right, so two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. Today. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about the finish takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh. with authority. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. These guys throwing early. 
Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. And they separate. Big ball from Punch Land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, well timed with the knee to the head. Midway through round one. Went for the inside leg kick. Look at the turtle in that kick. Just over two minutes to go. All right, single collar tie now. Nice punch lands over the top. Wow. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Oh man, head kick lands. Just misses with a left hook there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Oh! Oh! He's effective a straight punch as we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got it hurt very bad. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Oh! So, under 30 seconds to go in what has been a pretty entertaining and active first round. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Horn sounds for the end of round one. Well, the crowd enjoyed those five minutes. DC, take us through some of the highlights from that previous round. Face punching at its best. Ha. He loaded it up, he threw it straight, threw it long, and over and over, that punch found the target. It allowed him to really dictate the pace of that round. All right, here we go with our next round, and how about the striking display in that previous round? He found a lot of openings upstairs, and when we sat down with him on Thursday, he said this dude doesn't move his head, and largely that's how it's played. That's oh! Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're gonna sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, Give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook. That's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Oh, straight right. Just out of range with that right hand. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Liver kicks, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Able to check the high kick. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Oh, that'll ring your bell. Head kick. And that one was heavy. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh! 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 How's his opponent 
still stand. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Gonna do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Nice kick. Oh! Die. And they separate. in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance, he took it, he landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. Continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. how he stayed up there. I mean, when you can hit with a shot like that, to stay standing show and talk to your toughness. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Kick there, no pad on that foot. No shit guard is taking all of that kick every time he Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Wow! He's out! Unbelievable! What a performance! Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. Well, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're gonna find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like he got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at three minutes, 40 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, the
Sebastian Hall. Oh, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. We have a new UFC featherweight champion. You didn't necessarily see this coming a mile away, but you thought maybe he could get it done, and, and man, did he ever tonight. You knew that he was tough, but you knew how good our champion was going into the fight. But tonight, he believed, man. He believed that he had the skill to get the job done, and he did exactly that. Congratulations to the new UFC champion.